one. SeniorBowl.com from SEC Media Days at the Hyatt Regency in Hoover, Alabama. And Phil Savage, I've been here all week. We've already broken down the East. How about the West? It's been, it's really been Bama and LSU a little bit, but really Bama. So who steps up and challenges the Tide this year? Yeah, it seems at least in theory it's going to be LSU and the Auburn Tigers. So a, a pair of Tigers, so to speak. LSU, a lot of enthusiasm with Ed Orgeron. His focus now is being a head coach. He's not trying to coach everybody. And so I think the idea of him coming off the Ole Miss experience, then being the interim at both SC and LSU, has served him well. He seems to be ready for this job. They've got a new offensive coordinator in Matt Canada, so they think that they can diversify their offense for the first time in probably a decade. And then, of course, with the Auburn Tigers, all eyes are going to be on quarterback Jarrett Stidham to transfer via Baylor in a junior college. But when Auburn has had Sterling quarterback play, they've been in the mix. And there's a real thought that with Kevin Steele as a defensive coordinator, Gus Malzahn, and Chad Lindsey being the offensive coaches that Auburn could really challenge in the West. But until somebody goes out on the field and beats Alabama, it does appear that it's Alabama and everyone else in the West. Arkansas feels like they'll have something to say about it with Austin Allen returning at quarterback. Texas A&M has a lot of work to do on offense, but their defense uh, also has some returning talent. Armani Watts, the all SEC safety, all SEC safety, and then of course Mississippi State with Nick Fitzgerald one of the best young players in this league. And of course, Ole Miss, the shroud of the NCAA sanctions hanging over their head in 2017. So not really sure what to expect from them. Well, we can expect a big target on the back of Alabama. Of course, they're used to that. They've been dominating the SEC West for several years under Nick Saban.